Questions 40 to 42. Very bad drivers get bade. At least that's the inference from this passage. Okay, in the first paragraph, we learn about bade, uh, the system, the ignition device. And in the uh, third line, we find out that um, it oxidizes alcohols. So here I have alcohols, and I double underlined plural. So yes, uh, they provide the example that it's meant for ethanol. This is the way that you can symbolize ethanol or ethyl alcohol. And uh, so that's what it wants, but it they literally say alcohols, plural. And so bade uh, oxidizes alcohols to produce a current, and uh, this is uh, how the um, car is going to be prevented from moving or uh, permitted to be able to be used. Okay, so in the second paragraph, we learn about Fred. And um, very importantly, we learn that Fred does not use alcohol or does not consume alcohol, at least uh, in the past week. And that's part of, um, you know, Fred's uh, diet. And so uh, we also learn that um, uh, Fred's diet is producing ketones, uh, specifically propanone. So you might recognize propanone also as uh, acetone. So, um, and this acetone can be uh, reduced, uh, we are told, um, to produce uh, to propanol, which is obviously an alcohol. It's a hydrocarbon. Of course, I haven't written in all the hydrogens, uh, but uh, you can do that for fun. Um, so it's a uh, hydrocarbon with an OH group, and that makes it an alcohol. And so um, we do know that uh, acetone is volatile. And so uh, we expect that this is also a volatile. So volatile means easily evaporates. And you are very familiar with acetone and how easily it evaporates, because this is uh, the main ingredient in nail polish remover, in um, paint thinner. And so you know it's a very strong smell, and that's because of its volatility. It evaporates quite easily. And if you want, you can pause and find the logical reason for that. So of course it's because uh, acetone can't hydrogen bond with itself. Water hydrogen bonds with itself, and that's why it's able to hold itself in the water phase at uh, room temperature, and in fact, a liquid phase all the way up to 100 degrees. Whereas acetone has a delta negative oxygen, but there's no hydrogen, which is delta positive. There's no hydrogen attached to an oxygen or attached to a nitrogen or some uh, uh, extremely electronegative element such that um, it can uh, hold itself in the liquid form easily. And these are the symbols that are often used for oxidation or reduction in organic chemistry. Oxidation uh, is normally that you're increasing the oxygen content of a molecule, so there's more oxygen here, or you are reducing hydrogen. And uh, reduction is the opposite. Reduction means you're increasing hydrogen content uh, or you are reducing oxygen content. So, um, you know, in general chemistry, usually oxidation reduction is, is discussed in terms of electrons, gaining or losing electrons. But in organic chemistry, it's discussed uh, normally in terms of um, hydrogen content or oxygen content. Okay, so in the uh, second paragraph, so we, we, learnt, we learnt about Fred, diet without alcohol, he's, but his diet is producing this ketone, and when it's reduced, it can produce an, an alcohol. So now we know that there's something that Fred is creating that potentially can be picked up by Bade, it can be oxidized to produce current, because Bade oxidizes alcohols. And so even... On the real exam, especially when I see uh, a passage like this and questions that are based on the same concept, I would probably draw something like this out, not because it's a difficult passage. It's actually one of the easiest passages um, 
for the exam. But it's just that a passage like this, you don't want to make any mistakes because uh, because there are passages which are more challenging. And, and so it's normal to make some mistakes on those. But something which is really just a verbal reasoning passage, you want to have everything clearly laid out in front of you so that uh, the chance of error is very little. And so also in the second paragraph, uh, you find... Uh, about the half-lives, uh, you know, questionable as to whether or not that's going to be important, um, you know, because uh, just glancing at the various questions, um, I'm not seeing where that fits in, um, you know. But nonetheless, the information has been provided just in case we need to get back to it. So question 40. Uh, so Fred tries to, okay, so look, look at answers A and B. One of the concerns that you must have, uh, just an alert, is uh, how assertive and without doubt A and B are. Would start. There's, it's definitive. And so uh, that's, that's always a concern. <laughs> okay. So just, just it doesn't mean that it's always going to be the wrong answer, but it should alert you to a concern. And then uh, C and D have may not start. So that uh, makes it... Uh, you know, uh, more uh, rational generally, but not always. Okay, so anyway, A, uh, let's start. Because Fred has not consumed uh, any alcohol. Okay, but we've already established that Fred makes alcohol, so answer choice A is incorrect. He ha it's true he, has, he hasn't consumed, but he's producing alcohol. Uh, answer choice uh, uh, B, talking, okay, so bringing up the half-lives, you know, in this context, the, the half-lives uh, are not pertinent. Uh, we would need to know what the starting concentrations were in the blood. We would need to know uh, what concentration is required in order to uh, have the machine function and what concentration is going to be in the breath So of this uh, um, alcohol that's being produced by Fred. So there's, there's a lot of unknowns to be able to say anything about answer choice B. And to try C, it may not start, okay, so a little bit more generous uh, due to the uh, two uh, propanol because of the alcohol that is present. So, and to try C, definitely correct. And then finally, may not start due to propanone. Pro propanone's there, sure, propanone's there, <laughs> acetone's there, but this is not what going to have any effect on BAID. BAID is affected by this, and so, it's that the propanone would have had to have been reduced to the alcohol to be able to be picked up. And it's the alcohol that's being uh, detected and having the effect on BAID. And you can have propanone uh, all night long and it's not going to affect that BAID machine. So um, 40, certainly the answer is C. 41. So suppose that uh, two propanol is detected in Fred's breath. Wow, that means like, Question 40 was for free, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, anyway, question 40 was for free, <laughs> if uh, the way they're giving that away uh, feels like Christmas. So which of ethanol or propanone, um, okay, so we've already discussed that Fred is without ethanol. <laughs> Poor Fred. And we have uh, discussed that propanone is being produced by Fred. So that's uh, answer choice B. So this is, um, this is just verbal reasoning. Uh, there's, there's no science in here. There's no uh, organic chemistry. So just logic, which is the emphasis that Acer has. Okay, so the answer is clearly 41B. 42, which of the following detected? Okay, so he's maintaining his that. Okay, so which of the following is detected by BAID? So whatever the answer is going to be, if it's detected by BAID, it's an alcohol. So uh, could it be ethanol? It could be, but that's not part of Fred's diet, so that's not going to be the case. So we have to look for an alcohol. Some, oh, and that means it, it has a suffix that is all. <laughs> OL. So it's not propanone because that's clearly uh, ketone and uh, it's not uh, 3-oxobutanoate. So if you want to impress yourself, you should draw 3-oxobutanoate to make sure that you can. 
So that's an ester, if that gives you a little hint. But uh, so the answer C has to be uh, to propanol. So it is the alcohol that Fred is making, and uh, this was all verbal reasoning. Um, and the alcohol can be detected by Bade because Bade uh, detects alcohols. I, I feel like I'm, I'm speaking in circles. <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, so the, by the way, Acer has asked these questions, types of questions, many times on many of their exams. And uh, in fact, this is not the only time during this exam. There's another passage in this exam that, does, uh, that deals with the same issue of uh, reduction and oxidation of alcohols. Uh, we have here an alcohol oxidized to a carboxylic acid. Uh, this is really what's going on in the background, of course. Uh, so this is ethanol, and uh, this is uh, acetic acid, also uh, called ethanoic acid. And, um, and here is the reduction of a ketone uh, to an alcohol. And if you go to org 6.2.2 uh, in the book, uh, you will see the classic reduction oxidations um, and uh, you're going to see it again in this exam and, and in other exams uh, by Acer because it's a very important issue. They find many creative ways uh, to bring it up. And uh, I'll just um, get a pen here. And so 3-oxobutanoate, uh, which is also called, um, uh, Acer uh, names it the correct way in the second paragraph, which is acetoacetate. So butanoate, though, is, is good because it's uh, the systematic uh, way to name. And so it allows you to uh, know that it has to have four carbons because it's a but. So that's four carbons. O8 means it's an ester. So it looks like that. And uh, three oxo uh, or oxy, one, two, three, uh, means there's an oxygen over here. And so this is a very famous, uh, of course, this is the conjugate base of the uh, acid, which would be um, uh, 3-oxobutanoic acid. And um, these are very, very famous because uh, they're fundamental in medical school, in medicine, because uh, what happened to Fred here is something that happens to uh, diabetics uh, type type 1 diabetics. I'm only mentioning this because, of course, it can come up on the exam um, in, in another context. And these are uh, ketone bodies. And these are, in a diabetic, they have problems processing glucose, getting glucose into their cells because of uh, a problem with insulin. And so they start doing what Fred did, and that's starting to uh, um, uh, start to use fats. And uh, when they do this too much, then it starts getting in into their breath, these uh, ketone bodies in the, into their breath and into their uh, uh, urine as well. You can actually smell the propanone, the acetone. So you, you think about that nail polish remover or, or paint thinner and you have a patient coming to the emergency department and you can smell that on their breath. And uh, in the proper uh, context, uh, the diagnosis can be, can be made of uh, diabetic uh, ketoacidosis. And so it's something that you'll talk about in, in uh, uh, medical school, but you might see this coming up because it's producing these same products and these uh, same uh, biochemicals that we're seeing in this passage.